Hi everyone, it's Diana Rankin coming to you with messages for June the 4th to the 10th. I always have to think about that. June the 4th to the 10th. Well, this week what we're going to talk about is magic. And, you know, I believe in magic. Um, I don't mean just the magicians at, at the shows that can... I've seen the show America's Got Talent, and they have some wonderful magicians on there. But that's not the kind of magic I'm talking about. I'm talking about the kind of magic that we need to listen to our intuition, and then synchronicity happens. And we don't always understand why, or we don't always understand what it means. But I'm also talking about the kind of magic that allows us to suspend that which we believe to be true and recognize that there is so much more than we know. There is a much greater world. So let me give you my story for what started last night before I came today to, to make this video. And that'll explain what I'm doing outside in my backyard. Last night, every night before I go to bed, I always choose what am I gonna wear tomorrow so when I get up in the morning, I don't have to think about it. I can just go about my morning routine. So when I, pulled this shirt out of my closet, I said, well, that's strange. I wonder why I'm wearing that. And if you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me step back. Maybe you can see it better if I step back and get in the sun just a little bit there. It's a very Celtic. Can you see that all right? It's a very Celtic design. The sun's in my eyes, so I can't really see what I'm doing here. But it's a very Celtic design. And I said, well, all right, maybe we're going to talk a little about the Celts tomorrow or something, I'm not sure. But I trusted that I was to put on this shirt today. Then when I started pulling jewelry out, I said, oh, well, I'm supposed to wear this fairy. Now I'm going to get really close so you can see her. She's dancing on a crystal. And she was a gift to me many, many years ago. And so I said, why, why am I to wear a fairy today? That's unusual, but I trusted it. And then I said, all right, we're supposed to go outside and you're supposed to tell about the fairies that live on this land. The reason I'm outside is I want to show you two things. Over this shoulder, you'll notice the labyrinth I have cut. I call this the meadow. It's not really my backyard. It's, it's past my backyard and it's a field that of, of just green and behind me though you'll see the forest or we call it the woods and you might even hear or even see Daisy Dog who's running out here with me uh, and hopefully she's busy I can hear her over there in in the forest but she's off having a, a little run herself and hopefully not hurting the, the bunnies or anything else that lives here the reason I had to come out, and I didn't know it at the time, I didn't know it till I started making this video this morning, is I had to tell you about the magic of the fairies. The fairies, on a June night, especially around summer solstice, and that's only a few weeks away, but on a warm June night, somewhere around midnight, if I come out here and I look at this corner, there's a corner behind me here, and I look at that corner, and I can see the fairies. Now, how do I know those are fairies? And where did I get that story? It happened many years ago, shortly after I had moved here. And I was had a date with an airline pilot and we came back to the house and we were talking and we decided we would walk the labyrinth. Well, that's over this shoulder. And this is a seven ring labyrinth. It's, it's the Celtic labyrinth. Uh, there's a labyrinth built of Crete and a labyrinth, this is also the Hopi, uh, after the Hopi labyrinth, so Celts or Hopi, uh, which are, my ancestry is Celtic and, and Native American, so it fits for me. If you would like to know a little bit more about labyrinth, see my winter solstice labyrinth walk video and we'll go for a walk together. It'll be a little bit chillier than it is now. But I won't go into all of the information about the labyrinth because I'll let you go to that video because today I want to talk about the magic of fairies. So the gentleman and I came out and it was a June late at night and we were just walking around and he looked up and he said, you know, I'm a pilot. And I said, John, he said, look at that. And I said, at the fireflies, at the, at the fireflies. And he said, look closer. 
and so I did. And as I looked closer, I noticed there were two very distinct sizes of fireflies. And he said, notice how they, how the smaller ones move. Well, the smaller ones seem to kind of move like this, you know, like here and there. And they were like flitting around beautifully and it was wonderful to watch. And he said, now look at the big ones. Well, the big ones seem to just go zzzz, zzzz. And they also went much higher. They went above the tree lines. And these are some very tall trees. Hmm. I'm going to just move the camera a little bit so you can get maybe some idea of how tall the trees are. Well, probably not because I'm several hundred feet. Well, maybe at least a couple hundred feet. Not several, but a couple hundred feet away from the trees. So you may not be able to tell as well how tall the trees are. But anyway, he was explaining to me the difference in the flight. And the more I looked, the more I thought about a previous um, encounter where I was with a man of the Shawnee. And he took me to a forest on Shawnee land and we were watching the fireflies. And at that time he said, notice the big ones. They're very different from the little ones. Well, I have to tell you, this pilot went on to tell me, and by the way, this was the second message, the first being the Shawnee man and now the pilot man. And the pilot was telling me, he said, I'm a very practical man and I'm a very down to earth man. And he said, but strange things happen that I've noticed when I was a pilot or when I'm in the air. And he said, so I don't discount strange things. And he said, I think these are fairies. And I kind of looked at him like, are you crazy? <laughs> and he said, well, aren't you the lady who has that strange voice that comes through? And I said, oh, you mean the Celtic voice? That's my muse. And he said, hmm, okay. As we were walking back to the house to say our goodbyes, we heard drums. And I didn't say anything. And then he said to me, do you hear the drums? And I said, yes. Well, since that time, I've become a believer in fairies. And it's amazing. People have come to my land for, for workshops or to visit. And they'll come trying to stay here on a warm June night around midnight, around summer solstice, where the fairies rise above the trees. And it is a beautiful sight to see. It is a marvelous sight to feel. And while we were talking, I don't know if you noticed, there was just a wee little one who just came right here and buzzed for a moment and then flew off. It is, uh, it is interesting to live where I live, shall I say. At one time, I had several items missing from my flower garden. And I said that to someone about, I wonder where those items are going. It, it, they're just picking up and walking away. And she laughed and she said, it's from the woods fairy, the, the fairies in the woods. The woods fairy are a little jealous of your garden fairies because the garden fairies are getting so much attention. Okay, so I had to bring sparkly things out and hang them and give them to the woods fairy. And lo and behold, I never lost any other items after that. So today we're playing, paying great homage to the woods fairy. So I tell you this story because I want to tell you there is magic in the world and we want to listen to that magic. We want to believe that magic. And if you see a fairy and you believe in fairies, don't let anyone tell you they don't exist because I'm telling you they do. We live in a multi-dimensional world and fairies are part of that. And we, we, we narrow our world so much to three dimensions. And if we can just widen our imagination and widen our appreciation of what all exists in the life, what else is here besides what we think is here, and open our hearts, open our hearts to allow us to receive excitement from other dimensions and other worlds, we too will see the fairies and know the magic exists. So that's my story for today. You see me holding my book, 
uh, the Master's Book of Answers by Philip. Philip is the spirit guide I work with. And Philip, what we do is, is we just flip through the pages because each page has a different message on it. And so we think left or right. If you're new to my videos, by the way, welcome. I'm so glad you've joined us. If this is the, um, if, you, if you come back and again and again, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much and thank you for telling your friends. Uh, some of you have asked me for private readings and yes, I do do private readings. You can contact me at either site below. Uh, you'll get to go to my, one of my websites and you can contact me through that. So I just saw Daisy run through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just flip through the book and we're going to, we'll, we'll flip through and I have to stop think I have to concentrate on that and stop talking for a minute. So we're just going to flip through and see where we stop. So think left or right. Where do you want me to stop? Ah, there we go. I'm thinking right. And imagine this, it's exactly what we've been talking about. When you do not hear the answer, it is because you are not listening. I'm going to read that again, my friends. When you do not hear the answer, it is because you are not listening. I challenge you this week to listen, to listen carefully and look beyond the third dimension beyond your personal belief system at this moment and look what is so much greater, the truth behind what you believe to be the truth. We need magic in our world right now, my friends. We need magic. Let's all bring it in, the magic of love. Let's bring it forth into this world, into this dimension. We can do that. And remember to listen, because when you do not hear the answer, it is because you are not listening. Thank you for listening today to this video. Thank you for listening to me, Diana Rankin. Thank you for coming to visit with us today. I love you. I love you. And I thank you so much for accepting that love. And I thank you for loving me until we see each other again. Bye for now. Watch for the theories.